Hey GED students, it's GED question of the day time and we're still working with multi-step percent problems um, like you might see on the GED. So great news, go grab your calculator because when you have these types of word problems on the GED or really any word problems, you always get a calculator to do the computations. So then why bother? I mean, what's the point? The point is you've got to be able to interpret what to do. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. It says, Abdul is a car salesman. He makes a base pay of $15 per hour, plus a commission of 2% of his sales. If Abdul worked 103.5 hours last month and made 162,800 in sales, what will his gross pay be for the month? Okay, my first recommendation in multi-step word problems is that you go ahead, look at the question and paraphrase it. Put it into your own words. So let's take a look. Here's the question. Here's what they're asking me to find. What will his gross pay be for the month? So guys, when I use gross in a math context, I don't mean like, oh, yuck, nasty. Gross is another way of saying your big, your total payment. Gross literally means fat, okay? So that big fat amount before they take out any taxes, okay? I'm talking his total pay for the month. Now, unlike some of us, Abdul gets paid two ways. So if I'm going to look at his total pay, I'm actually looking at two pieces. This man, he makes a um, base pay, there it is, sorry, I had to go find it in the word problem, of 15 per hour. So his base pay is an hourly pay, you could call it either. Plus, he makes a commission. So I'm going to have to find both of those numbers, the base pay or his hourly pay, and then I'm going to have to find the commission, and then when I'm done, I'll be able to add them together. So I've got a little plan for how I'm going to find this man's total pay. So first, let's start with his base pay, his hourly pay. Now, a lot of students would just say, Kate, that's 15 bucks. And I'd say, yeah, it'd be 15 bucks if he only worked for one hour. But notice that his base pay is 15 per hour. For every hour Abdul works, he makes 15 bucks. That means the first hour he makes 15 bucks, the second hour he makes 15 bucks, the third hour he makes 15 bucks, and so on and so forth. He's making $15 multiple times. Hear me say multiple times? I'm saying that for a reason. I want you to realize that this is an act of multiplication. Now I'm going to take that 15 per hour and I'm going to times it by the number of hours he works. He works 103 Point five hours. So he's going to get paid $15 103.5 times. And let's go ahead and do that math. Again, I'm just typing it into my TI and I get 1,552.5. So that's his base pay, his hourly pay. Uh, but that's not all the money this man makes. He also makes a commission. So we're going to have to add on a commission. Now, what is his commission? Well, we see commission is 2%, but careful, percent is always a piece or a portion. So you have to ask yourself 2% of what? 2% of his sales, they tell us. So he's going to get paid 2% of his sales. And they tell us what his sales are. He's got $162,800 in sales. See how I'm using the units to help me know where things go? So 2% of that 162800 Now you might be saying, Kate, I don't know how to do this. As long as you know that of means multiply, you can actually type this into your calculator. Your TI will do percents for you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 2, and then I want the percent button. The percent button is in green, so I'm going to have to hit the second key first. And then right above the open parentheses, I hope you see it, there's the little percent button. So 2% and then of means multiply, so I'll press times. And I'm going to type in that long, ugly number, 162800. And I find out that in commission, we're looking at 3256 bucks. Woo! His paycheck just went up significantly. Okay, so there's his base pay. We figured it out. There's his commission. We figured it out. If we want that gross, that total, we're going to have to add the two together. And I'm so lazy and afraid of typos. I'm actually going to use my TI. 
I'm going to arrow up using the up arrow to this number. And once it's black, I'm going to press enter to select it. Then I'll press plus and arrow up to the next number and do the same thing. And I find out that his total pay is going to be $4,808.5. Now, careful. This is a $4,808. Now, we don't use just one decimal place for money. We either use no decimal places or two decimal places. So I'm going to throw a zero on there because I realize that this five is in the tenths place. That's a number of dimes. And I don't have any hundredths. So that's $4,808.50. 50 cents. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other uh, GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.